Hello, we are going to talk about the second dress up of the path workbench. It's the second most useful in my opinion. It's the boundary dress up. So first I've created this body and now let's create the job. Make sure the body is selected. Now let's set a tool. Let's say the 6mm end mill. I do most of the stuff that I do on my CNC using the 6mm end mill. Let's remove the default tool. Set the output processor to GRPL. And now I have my job. And I'll give uh, this example again with a profile. I'll make a simple profile. Let me put it in perspective view. I like it better this way. Let's say I'm going to put two clamps, one here and one here. And after cutting the first half of my body, I will move the clamps over here and then cut this second part. How can I do this? I'm going to use the dress up called boundary. As you can see, by default nothing happens. Why? Because it's constrained to the inside and since my tool bit moves 3 millimeters away from the body, it doesn't have enough space to move, so it won't move. Let's first extend the X and Y on the lower side. And now you can see my tool moves only on these two sides. If I extend the other two ends of the X and the Y to 3 millimeters, now I have my profiling again all ready to be cut. But I want to move this bounding box of my operation. I want to move it to the left. This end I want to move it to the left. This is the x-axis as you can see in the bottom right corner. So I'll just scroll down and change this value. I don't know, let's say 50 millimeters is okay for me to place some clamps here to hold down the piece. And now when I click apply, you can see my operation is limited just to this box. Now I can safely place my clamps on this side of the part. The CNC will only move on these three sides. After doing this, I'll have to go to the profile, make a copy, recompute the operations and if I hit space on this operation you can see that now it does the whole body again but I don't want it to cut the first five centimeters 50 millimeters so let me just disable this dress up that I uh, initially created and I'll go again to select the job of course go to path path dress up and boundary now let's increase everything to three so my cutter heads will have where to move. Okay, make sure all the moves are possible. And now let's move this side. This is the beginning of the X. So I'll increase and decrease it actually and go to minus 50. Now if I click apply, you can see I can safely place my clamps here, hold down the piece and then since I already did this part, this one is being done now, so I will have the profile of my entire body. Okay, now let's re-enable this one. And how do I export this? Double clicking on the job, in the output tab of the job, I can go to the order by option, select operation and check the split output. Now click OK to close the job. And when I export the job, let's leave it as a named for now. Click on save, OK, and now that was my first file. You can see I already have an unnamed 0.nc. The next file is an unnamed 1.nc. Now I have two files and in the Universal G-Code Center, I will just have to load the first file, put the clamps here, cut this part of the body, the CNC will stop, I will put clamps on this side, remove the first ones, load the second file and cut these sides too. Of course it's much easier using tags, but sometimes tags are not the, the suitable option. For example, if I mill aluminum, it's pretty difficult to flatten the tags without damaging the edges, so I prefer to use this method. Of course choosing the right method is something that you learn over time and it's more a thing about uh, operating the CNC machine, not really a FreeCAD thing. FreeCAD just gives you the tools to choose what you want to do. Of course, the dress up path boundary applies to any kind of operation, no matter if I have a pocket, a face, a helix, even works for 3D operations, but the 3D operations in FreeCAD are currently very slow. I'm sure they'll improve over time, 
but in a future episode I'll show you how I do things when I have complicated 3D surfaces like a sculpture or something like this. I'll go to Blender and export my path from Blender. It computes everything much faster and I think actually better. But that will be discussed in another episode. For now, let's remember that no matter how complex my operation is, I can always limit it to a certain part of the stock using the path dress up called the boundary. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.